The following program is a production of Pioneer Public Television. Grassland Jam presents Turn of the Century Greats from the Eel Pout Stringers. Muskrat, oh muskrat, I'll track him in the sand. Muskrat, oh muskrat, gonna catch him if I can. I'll catch him if I can. I'll catch him if I can, boys, I'll catch him if I can. Welcome to Grassland Jam, the best of bluegrass and old-time music from the main stage of the Minnesota Bluegrass and Old-Time Music Festival at El Rancho Manana near Richmond, Minnesota. Grassland Jam is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money from the Vote of the People of Minnesota on November 4, 2008 and by the members of Pioneer Public Television. Now on the main stage, the Eel Pout Stringers. friends and neighbors. We are the Eel Pot Stringers. We are delighted to be back at the stage. I mean, just looking out at the crowd, looking at the weather, it doesn't get much better than this. I'd like to say I hope you had a restful night's sleep, but we all know better. Just out of curiosity, how many people were up past midnight playing music? Well, actually, that's an improvement. Thank you, folks. We're all getting better. We're not getting older. We're getting better. We're going to be playing some old-time tunes for you today. I like to say they're tunes from the 60s but that's the 1860s. So I want you to sit back, relax, and enjoy. We have some animal tunes, we have some square dance tunes, but the whole purpose of this is to feel the joy in traditional music. You guys ready? This is a song, of, yeah. So this is a song uh, about a, it's a true character but from back in the early 1900s, kind of a rough and rowdy guy who ended up uh, on the wrong end of the, of the law, so. He was a banjo player. Right. Yeah. Called Otto Wood. <laughs> Step up, buddies, and listen to my song. I'll sing it to you right, but you might sing it wrong. A story by the men they call it Otto Wood. I can't tell you all, but I wish I could. He stepped 
walked into pawn shop a rainy day, and then he had a quarrel with a clerk named Gray. He pulled out his post and struck his blow. This is the way the story goes. Otto, why didn't you run? Otto, stunned dead and gone. Otto, would, why didn't you run when the sheriff pulled out that 44 gun?
you. Well, we like to do waltzes too, and here's one for you. This is called Midnight on the Water. I have to dedicate this to my beautiful wife. This is what we were married to. As Craig mentioned, we are the eel pout stringers. Now, you guys all know what an eel pout is? Ever caught one? Ever ate one? Ever kissed one? That's the tradition. Well, you guys know who we are in case you're down at the post office and you recognize us. The guy over here in the far, my left, your right, over here with the good-looking cowboy hat playing banjo, that would be Craig Bullhead Evans. We had to earn our names. We'll go into that story later. On fiddle here, this would be Nick Finn Rouse. <laughs> and for fishing people out there, you all know, you know, the one you bring into the boat that looks good for dinner, it's the one you're going to take home and fillet up. That's called a keeper. That would be Lloyd Keeper Mitchell. He's the good looking one in the bunch. Also the youngest. Yes, the youngest. So let's don't forget that. Yeah. Keep, keep it up, kid. <laughs> and, and I'm Carl Gill. Burke on the bass and uh, oh. guitars. I was paying attention to see who who these guys were. I was. Yeah. Y'all set to go? Yep. All right, here we go. We're into the animal set. house eating up all he had eating up all he had eating up all he had boys eating up all he had
I'll catch him if I can. I'll catch him if I can, boys. I'll catch him if I can. That was called Little Dutch Girl. Now, one of the tunes, one of the song categories that was popular, uh, basically going way back in traditional music, probably two, three hundred years ago, and continued all that period of time, were what are called traditional American nonsense tunes. I mean, if you were really bored, you had to make up something silly to kind of pass the time. Plus, it was a chance at humor when you got together. And a lot of these tunes are still staying with us today. One of them that we play at a jam on our Saturday morning jam in downtown St. Paul is a tune called Sandy Boys. And don't expect it to make any sense, but if you listen to the lyrics, listen especially to the story 
about how high the possum meat is in the verse where they're having a, a church picnic, okay? And then if you, you get extra bonus points if you can pick up what happens to the possum meat. Anybody intrigued yet? Yeah. <laughs> and you get extra bonus points if you've ever eaten possum. Okay. It's, he's from Arkansas, you know. <laughs> do a song now that I've liked for a long time by written by a guy named Norman Blake. If you're familiar with Norman Blake, uh, from hails from uh, northwest uh, Georgia and northeast Alabama, depending on what day day it was, where he walked on the trail. So this is one called uh, what is this called? Last train. <laughs> yeah, last train from Poor Valley. I just learned it yesterday. It was good one time. 
Everything was mighty fine. The cold dimples roared day and night. The things they got slow for no reason that I know. And the ill winds they hove in the side. The mines all closed down. Everybody laid around. Very much that you could do Except stand in the line Get your ration script on time Woman, I could see it killing you Now the soft new snows of December Lightly Grassland Jam is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money from the Vote of the People of Minnesota on November 4th, 2008 and by the members of Pioneer Public Television. <laughs> 